This move could be done in Nogi. This move could be done in Nogi. Pull him over. There is no lapel. Use two hands and hip in. If you wrestle with a rash guard, you can kind of grab it. One more time. So we stand in the stance. And if I go like this. We have a lever here. One and two. And it's always done with the grabbing the wrist. If you don't control the wrist, the lever will not work. Lift your arm. That's why. Always apply lever here like this or like this. We'll be doing it with lapel now. Lapel is a simple grip. And nobody knows what you do. You do this, this or that. So it's a universal grip. So you have a stance right or left, right for me. Two steps, one, two. One, two. See the back leg goes where the front leg is. I can't already stand, I'm falling back. It's good, I have a good pull when I fall then. One, two. Slowly as I fall, the front leg Goes right in his groin. And in order to dump him sideways, we want to rotate our second leg. And with the front leg, dump him sideways too. To create pull. He fell. I let go. Get my own lapel. Collect it. And my heel goes. Where it goes? On the rib cage. My hand supports my second hand. Tight control. And hip in. Our goal is to dump him on his belly. If you dump him on his back, you lose the leg lock. So pull him sideways. His hands are on the floor. Rotate the leg over and around on my shoulder and finish. It doesn't matter which stance he's in, this one or that one. My goal is just to get tight and apply submission. One, two, rotate that leg, leg between legs. You see where my knee is looking in the direction of the force. And arm is in the same direction. See, we collected the leg. And lace your leg over. Spring up. And unwind the spring. <laughs> 